What's up you guys? I hope everyone's doing good today. And today I wanted to tell you how I recently bought a house completely for free. Completely for free. Now, there was a price associated with the house, right around $50,000. The house cost $50,000, but I got it for free. And let me tell you how. It's not just because I used someone else's money, and it's not just because the person whose money I used, actually it is because of this. It's because the person whose money I used got a HELOC from the bank. Now let me explain to you what a HELOC is. It's a home equity line of credit. Now you have two ways of making equity in your home. Say your house is worth $100,000. You pay off the $100,000. That's 100% 100 equity in the home. That's the first way. The second way is that same example. Your $100,000 house is worth $200,000. I mean, you could pay off whatever you want, but that difference, that $100,000 difference between $100,000 and $200,000, that is equity. And the bank will loan you the difference on the amount. Now, if you have both, if you have 100% paid off and appreciation on your house, then you have a lot of equity in your house. And the bank will offer you the opportunity to take out a loan against the equity on your house because there's interest involved, so they have an incentive, and forward or such. So first off, in case you guys don't know, when you buy a house, there's certain fees associated. There's closing costs, there's uh, an inspection fee, there's all kinds of fees. And one way, one of the biggest ones was closing costs. When I went through regular investment people like Quicken Loans, Caliber Loans, all kinds of places, and I asked them about the loans, they said the closing costs would be five to seven thousand dollars, no matter how much your house costs. So if you get a crappy house, it's five thousand, seven thousand. You get a nice house, five thousand, seven thousand. So right there, your house can cost at least five to seven thousand dollars. But if you get a home equity line of credit, we use Belco Credit Union, there was no closing costs. They didn't care about the home appraisal. They didn't, which a close, that's part of the closing cost. It was like $900, $700, I forget which. And they didn't care about any of that. There was no closing costs. It's just, there's no fees associated. There's no penalty for early repayment. And it's 4% interest, which was actually lower than the cre than the loaning companies were going to offer. They were gonna, like Caliber Loans, Quicken Loans. They were going to offer 5.8, 5.5% interest. We got it for 4% interest through a home equity line of credit with zero money down because the home equity line of credit was for over uh, the amount of the purchase price. So we got a home equity line of credit up to $100,000 and the purchase price was only $50,000. So we only had to change out $50,000, right? So there was literally no money down because say our account went from $30,000. We bought, we know we're going to buy a house and we took out a home equity line of credit for $50,000. So $80,000. And then the house, we had to write a check for $50,000. And guess what happens to our account? It's back down to the original 30. So literally, it was free. We wrote a check for $50,000. And even though you have to pay four th or 350 or so per month for it, you get a house. And now, this is how it's really free. Because it's not just any house. This house is going to be a flip but turned into an investment opportunity. Let me explain. We're buying the house that needs significant work, but not too much work towards a complete piece of trash. And we're gonna do the work ourselves to save money there. And then from there, we're gonna rent it. And like I said, the between, okay, so let's go through all expenses. You've got the mortgage on the 20-year HELOC, that's $350, just say. There's the home insurance, the home security, that's $150, so you're up to like, you know, $500. Well, the rent on the house is going to be $1,200, say. Maybe $1,100, maybe $1,300, but it's going to be a lot more than I'm paying the bank. I'll tell you that much right now. However much I'm paying the bank, my rent will be much higher 
And that's how it's literally free money. And that's how rich people have gotten rich over the years. Because not only is there that, but there's actually tax benefits that you can take a loss. And even though you're making money, you can potentially take a loss or you can show that you're making less money through things like depreciation and Form 1031. I'll get more into that later if you guys want to know. Just let me know down below. But either way, there's so many tax benefits with this that it's literally free money. And that's how people have gotten rich over the years because your account goes from 30,000. You're like, okay, bank, I've got a house. Give me equity. You go up to 90,000 or 80,000 or 100,000 and then you use that money to buy the new house. And then guess what? You're still at 30,000, you're still at 40,000, you're still at 50,000. So it is literally free money. And then as long as you do the math to where you'll get a cash on cash return between, so say the cash on cash return is say you get a $400 principal, like your, your mortgage is $400, but you're renting it out for $2,000 or $1,500 or $1,000. That is a cash on cash benefit. So not only am I getting a house for free, I'm actually making money off of the house that I'm buying for free. So literally, that's how rich people get rich. You can either stay in the hole. There's a big hole that some people are in that they can't get themselves out of. It's called debt. Credit card debt, payday loans, student loans, all sorts of things. And what you need to do is to get yourself out of that hole and start building your equity. And then once you build enough equity, you can actually, or you can find business partners and present this idea to them. That's what I did. I have a business partner. And you present this idea to them to where you say, hey man, use your equity, take out a line of credit against it, and I'll find a property that I guarantee you will make money and Wolfbeck can make it work. And you get a property for a certain amount, you make this much off of it, so you get free money, money on top of your free money, and then you reinvest that, and you get even more money, and then eventually, it's just out of control. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, if you guys like the content that you see, if you like my videos, please let me know down below. I would, I love to read your comments, and I try to reply to them as quick as I can, but you know, I've I don't have a life, but I'm lazy. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. And please subscribe. You know I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. And also, please hit that like button. Oh my God, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. And until next time, peace.